Hello, hello. 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 How is everybody today? This it's beautiful Saturday afternoon, evening, morning, night. I don't know where you are. How is everybody today? Oh, this it's beautiful Saturday. I have to turn that thing off. It's it's bad enough when you're editing videos listening a trippy Hi honey Thank you for coming back in known as PJ Yours I saw your messages sweetie thank you ever so much Um I'm I'm hoping I, I can't that is Sherry Holes Run Well I thought that was going away with all the work that I've been doing but it's still wibbling there look see Maybe not as much as that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Ah, now you see me, who? Hello, Giselle, honey, how are you? No night, but cares. Hello! Thank you for coming in. Oh, you've already got a smudge on you. Let me move that. There you go. I just, 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 just gently taking off that smudge. Dream walking angel, you lose. So, wait, we are, we are, we are. Do you all want to see what happened? Melissa Moran! Hi, sweetie! How are you? She says, sure, hope everyone is doing well. Much love, and June, yes, let's have fun. She needs it. Well, we're definitely going to have fun, I am sure you. And Lady Vam! Yoo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Ah! This abstract rabbit. Or rabbit abstract. Really nice person. You're waiting for the biopsies from the endoscopy. Hey, honey. Well, well, hopefully everything's going to be windy, sweetie. Hi, how are you? Thank you for coming in. How is everything going, windy? And Giselle, everything will turn out okay, honey, I promise. One way or another, things will turn out. I'll tell you, that light is, is, is rolls apart. I was trying to figure out my lighting. I was trying to kind of improve. Two microwaves? No. It's just one microwave there. And then this one here is a, an oven type of thing. Um... You've been sick? Oh, Windy Beck, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. It seems to be going around. A lot of people are not doing too great. My friend TJ Explores is really, really having a very rough time. She's in a lot of pain. So... Oh, that there? Yeah, that doesn't work. So could you please, please do me a favour? And keep TJ Explores in your prayers and send healing energy. She will be going for an operation next week. And um, I worry. So if you could all do that for me, please. Juliet Moran, you Oh, and Leonard, please. Hi, sweetie. How are you? It's good to see you all. We're all going to have some fun. No nugget cares. No night bot cares. We're going to see what the nugget, how the nugget turned out. But please make sure you all keep my friend TJ Explores in your prayers. Send her healing energy because she needs it badly. She needs it very, very much. Her Shelby's cray cray. That's okay, Shelby. You're here with us. You. Thank you ever so much, Giselle. Thank you, sweetie. And thank you, Windy. Because um, for her, an, an operation is not a simple thing. Um, even something that would be what classed as a, a simple operation for Trace is not so simple. So, thank you, Sherry Holmgren. Thank you, sweetie. So... She really, she's in so much pain. So, anyway, I know she's sitting there going, just carry on, just carry on. 
do what you need just carry on Ah, oh, thank you no night what cares you are so sweet melissa moran says i was kept up all night and i'm not feeling carefree at all it's so sad because i'm tired i'm faceted all anyone cares about is money and not the people ah oh, melissa maybe you and i should have a chat Jammer's journey! Yeah. You told him to shut up? Yeah. It's it's hard, Melissa. I'm sorry, sweetie. I, I really am. I really am, honey. So... You know, sometimes we have to think about the money, but, you know, on the other hand, there's a time where, you know, you kind of have to push those thoughts aside, because there's so many people that, you know, that don't have it. So, anyway. Okay, well, I'm going to listen to, who are we going to listen to today? Technetic beats. That's who we're going to listen to. <laughs> is that a rooster? No, that is Punky. That is Punky Rock. This is Punky Rock. See, it's got red hair and watch. See, see the smile? Oh, can't, can you? See the smile? See, he's guarding the egg. But you see his smile? Look, see Punky Rock's smile? See? See? Well, we have the same smile. Watch. Hmm? We, we have the same smile. We do. Look, look. See? Yes! No night but cares. It's Green Bay Wackies. Boulder Buddies. It's one of Green Bay Wackies Boulder Buddies. It's Punky Rock. I can't. Our granddaughter has. She now has. And I do have photos. In fact, I'll, I'll see if my husband's awake because I I started with the wrong phone. But that's okay. Um, my friend can still send me messages. Grandma, so happy homestead. Hello, how are you? It is so good to see you. You have the set too, no night but cares. Well, I'm going to order another set. Um, that's all it's ever about money 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 and it is making me sick cause I want people to be more loving but they only talk about the shit unfortunately yes that does happen but we have to that is a process, a process some people go through to get over the path or to learn or to teach or to impress on on what they've went gone through um, it, it, it is a pros, but some people are kind of stuck back there too. Artfully yours with Diana, yours! Hi honey, thank you for coming in. Artfully yours is a very interesting channel. She has an eye disability, but she does a lot of art. You should check out how she's doing it. It's absolutely amazing. I, I was mesmerized. That's kind of why, why I was late. Because I was looking at it. You have been wanting to try to catch me when you're alive. Oh, thank you, Grandma. No pie PJ, I got the bunch and the disc for my grandson. My grand, my son loves Punky Rock. Ha! <laughs> He's 49. Yes, see, Punky is the best. No nightbox says, said Melissa, I just leave and don't watch. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. You know, it, it's 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 human nature. It's part of human nature. It's the not nice part of human nature. Um, and it's not easy. Do you have a business selling bottled water? Oh, you mean all that of there? <laughs> That's some impressive inter inventory behind you. Yeah, my hubby went went to the store yesterday, and he came back with a huge case of water. Oh, it's like put it on top. 
I'll give you an idea of how small I am, watch. I can just reach it. I can just reach it. <laughs> I want to start using my treadmill with you every night. Oh, no night more cares. That's interesting. I wonder um, if we can kind of get together. Oh, thank you ever so much, Heartful Yours. I try. Um, Green Street Recycling News. Hi, sweet. Thank you for coming in. Oh, anyway, do you want to see what happened to the nougat that we did last week? Huh? Yes, I do need a little English lady step stool. Yes, I do. I have a plastic thing, but yes, I am on Twitter. Um, but no, no light box cares. You'll have to check on my about page because my Twitter is um, Junie to Marie. So you'll have to check on my about page. Oh, I love my shirt too. Yeah. Can't I repeat, you know, I mean, I'm, it goes with me, carefree, happy, you know, and all that, all that fun jazz look, see? Thank you. Okay, so Grandma, I'm okay. Oh, Gemma. No, Gemma's journey. Oh gosh, and Grandma. Gemma's journey, I'm tired. I'm just very tired. Um But you know I'm really fighting the need to go to sleep. Go to sleep, my little beginning. No, don't, 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 don't go to sleep. Don't go to sleep. Stay awake. Okay, so let's see what happened to the nougat. Do you really want to see what happened to the nougat? Or should we say nougat? A nougat? Your Twitter is, um, so when you see it, you'll know. Okay, RM Philip. Okay, it's 1606. Were you born in 1606, by the way? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> of course you weren't. <laughs> of course you weren't. <laughs> Yeah, not my usual thing, because it's, it's coffee. I have to have coffee. <sighs> yes, unfortunately, Melissa, that does happen. Unfortunately, that shirt is very Woodstock of you. Yes, I wish I could have been at Woodstock. That would have been fun. I know, Melissa, I know, honey. And unfortunately, there's not much you can do when they're like that, when, you know, somebody's like that. Um, there's not much you can do, honey. Oh, no, no, no night box. Yeah, yeah, will be 48 this year. Oh, 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 oh that's exciting. Oh gosh, that just reminded me. I'll be from this year too. About ten years older. No night but cares. Oh that's what that's like. Okay. Dakota family, y'all. Alright, let's go. There's my second cup of coffee. Exactly, no night no night but cares. Hang with us, Melissa. Hang with us, honey. Because you don't get that stuff in here. I won't allow it. Holy oh, Rita! Oh hi sweetie, how are you? It's so good to see you. Did the box get delivered? No. No. Not yet, known by PJ, not yet. Oh, wait a minute, let me ask that. No, sadly, no, no, no box. No box yet. But I'm sure it's coming. Oh, I can't wait. 
It's exciting. I was going to introduce today my the, the, the uh, CD that I got from my friend, but I still might do that later. Or I might do it tomorrow because I feel it deserves to be done on its own. Because he has worked very, very hard. I haven't even got it out myself, so we'll all be seeing it together. What does Rabbit say? Rabbit said, can I imagine you crowd surfing in Woodstock 99 among the mosh pits and bonfires? Oh, yes. Yes, most definitely. Most definitely, Rabbit Extract. That's me. It's going to be heavy. Maybe over 10 pounds. So have... Really? Oh my gosh, what did you do? Oh my goodness, what did you do? Oh, I'm all curious now. <laughs> it's so exciting, isn't it? It really is. Okay, so. Let's get going. We're going to be listening to h -top Music. And let me know if the music's too loud or not loud enough. Or oh, three... There were three infamous Woodstocks, 69, 94, and 99. Well, actually, you know what? I could have been at all of them, abstract, if I'd have been in the right place. It is, isn't it, Holly Reader? It's always exciting. Laurie Johnson! Hi, sweetie. Sorry I didn't let you know over the past couple of live streams. I've been kind of been rushing around. I'm, I'm struggling to stay awake and keep my brain in order. Okay, we're going to start the music. Ready? Now I need to know if it's loud enough, not too loud. You have to let me do. the music and we can hear you too thank you ever so much Tommy Sprinkles hi honey thank you ever so much for coming in oh, yeah. oh it's so good to see you sweetie everybody check each other out because I know some of you don't know each other you're new and you're not new or you're you you re, you know you're coming you know what I mean just 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 say hello to each other go check look at each other's channels and stuff so yeah this is a new guard so this is not right, it did not set, it sort of set on the top but not underneath, so but it does taste good. So I think in the middle of the week next week we'll be doing a, what the heck do we do nugget? Do we do with this nugget? So we'll figure out um, <laughs> All the reader says, hey, as long as it tastes good. So it's the kind of thing that you would have to eat with a spoon. Windy Beck, this is nougat. So, it's a cherry nougat. 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 I don't know. Nougat. I don't know how you pronounce it. N-O-U-G-A-T. I think. Or is there an H in it? The music's perfect. Thank you for, thank you out for yours. Yes. Well, N N O U G A T. 
and O U G A T. So it's like nugget. Nugget. Uh, if you want to be posh, nugget. The T T T is silent. Well, neither am I, Holy Reader. I was spelling it how you. I was saying it how you were spelling it because that's how I thought it was spelled. So I was wrong. So yeah. There's no cutting that into pieces. As you can see, it's very nice and slutty, you know, it's like slime not. So that's another, that one didn't work. And, and, and my friend Trace, TJ Explores, did some research and apparently this is one of the hardest candies to make. So Hollerita says, just get a spoon and dig in. <laughs> so this week we're gonna try and make marshmallows from scratch. The only thing is you have to leave it set overnight. So we'll have to get back to it tomorrow to see how it goes. Uh, oh, the lady vamp said she, she looked it up and she said you did not stir it long enough and you can't and it can't be changed. Well you see the, the unfortunate thing I couldn't do it any longer because my old mixer was starting to arc and spark. Um, no, my PG says I'm going to eat supper. It's always a pleasure seeing you, my dear. Oh, thank you. No, my PJ, come back. I'm sure we will still be having some fun with the uh, marshmallow afterwards. So, yeah. So, we'll put that to one side. We'll play with this later on in the week. Okay, so I read this recipe for marshmallows and it's from that old retro book, you know, the, the, it's like this old book, the cooking, uh, the cookies and candy book, candies book, by Better Homes and Gardens, does it say when it was, husband ever yells from the other room turn the music down I'm trying to watch my puppy and kitten videos actually no he doesn't because he uses earbuds <laughs> so we figured that one out <laughs> all the readers said I'm the only other than June who loves recipes in a book well I think so yes rabbit rabbit, rabbit abstract 68 was a good year so from the 60s. It's doing pretty well, isn't it? Yeah, I do love recipes in a book. I've looked at recipes online and I kind of end up standing there going, looking at the pictures more than the recipe. So I do actually prefer cookbooks. Um, I have some cookbooks I'm going to be getting rid of because I don't use them and I probably won't use them. I might take a couple of recipes out of them, you know, copy them out into, you know, my personal cookbook thing, you know, folder thing in my bob. So, uh, you know, I have them, they're up there in the cupboard behind the tea bags. So I'll be getting rid of those. Okay, so, marshmallows. It's two envelopes, which is two tablespoons of unflavored gelatin. Well, I thought that it doesn't say exactly how so I have unflavored gelatin here but it doesn't say how much is in one packet um, So, I, I guess I'll just have to measure it. Now, isn't that odd? It doesn't say how much is in one packet. Uh, 
know I bought cases. I love cookbooks, but there's way too many. Yeah, me too. So, why do folks know? What do you folks know about the scripture of Betty Crocker? Oh, I used to have a book about Betty with um, you know, Betty Crocker cookbook. It grew legs and walked off. In other words, somebody stole it. So, I really, you know, I. So I'm, I'm kind of still looking for, you know, some cookbooks that I do like. But Betty Crocker was really good. You know, she did have some good cookbooks out. So we're going to have to measure this. Oh, that's okay. No, 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 no. I've, I've, I've been working through that as I'm sorting, that's why my house got in the mess that it's in. So, you know, we're working through it, I'm working through the process. So then I thought what we could do is do two lots of marshmallows. We could do one with the unflavoured gelatin and put a little bit of peppermint in with it. And then I thought we could do one with flavoured a strawberry flavored jello. Um, no, it isn't. No, no, night no, cares. If you have, you could, um, I'll, I can give it to you through, um, Twitter. Through the Twitter thing. Oh, you're so kind. You don't really have to. Thank you. Maybe we can exchange some books. You know, if I, I can see if I have any that you like and we can, we can exchange. You just on Twitter me on. Oh, oh, thank you ever so much, honey. Okay, so then I thought what we could do in the other flavour is maybe use some jello, some strawberry jello. And I know this is an awful lot. We only need two tablespoons. So that's okay. Now, it did say that you've got to put it out on brown paper. You have like 100 to 150. Oh my goodness, no, 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 I had a lot. <laughs> hey, mother, kids. Oh, hi, sweetie. Lots of love, honey. Thank you for coming in. Okay, so it says that after we've done everything, we've got to pour it out onto brown paper. I don't have brown paper. All the readers says I have probably about 50 cookbooks at least. That's a lot. I, I don't have brown paper. So I looked in my little drawer down here and I saw wax paper. And then I read, I read a little bit further and you got to turn it over. Once it's set, you got to turn it over onto some other brown paper. And then you got to wet the brown paper on top and pull it off. So wax paper I don't think will work, will it? If you got to do all that kind of stuff. So I thought parchment paper would work. What do you say? Parchment paper? Do I have paper? Well, yeah, I do have paper bags, aluminum or parchment, yeah, I have parchment. I do have brown paper bags, but I did think of using that, but then I thought, well, there's all sorts of stuff been going in them from, you know, the store, from the shelves, and I don't know, it, it just, it just gave me the heebie-jeebies. You know, it just gave me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> So, I thought, no, I won't do that. So, aluminum, how will read this is aluminum foil or parchment paper. I have parchment paper. Sherry Holden says, I have over 200 until I moved to a smaller place and I had to part with all but my favorite ones. I know, it's really hard. And how do you figure out which are your favorite ones? You know, how do you figure out your favorite ones? Okay, so. We're all on parchment paper. Yeah, windy. It kind of, I really did think about using a brown paper bag, but then all of a sudden I thought, oh no. 
because it's had all the stuff from the shit, you know, fill up, you know, but boxes, tins, you know, and all, and it, I mean, you just, oh, so, no, I, I decided, I mean, I wipe my tins and stuff, but still, it kind of like, I was like, no, no, it doesn't seem to, no, I think what it means is the, the um, brown paper that they use in, um, that they, that they used to use, because remember, this is 1968. So back then they used to use brown paper that they used to wrap around meat. So don't forget to add a dash of paprika. Ooh, good idea, rabbit abstract. Yes, people touching them exactly. Exactly, Windy. See, Windy Beck gets it. Laurie says, when I woke up pictures of different foods and check out the calorie count before you look too deeply into the picture. <laughs> exactly, Laurie. Exactly. Okay, so I have this ready. I have the part which pan. Now this pan is a little bit bigger than they suggested, but I don't have a pan that size because it says, it says, um, of course you have to read the instructions before you get to the size of the pan. Um, after you do everything, it says pour onto plain brown paper and spread it to a 12 by 10 inch rectangle. How would I know if it's a 12 by 10 inch rectangle? I, I don't I don't have a tape measure and I'm, I'm not. So and then it says let it stand overnight and dust the top with confection sugar and then turn it over. So we'll be doing this again tomorrow. We'll be revisiting this again tomorrow and I'll also do my friend's CD so okay so I'm gonna put that there I need to move this hopefully it won't spark this time I know I know I know my friend Trace is sitting there watching and she's doing if it sparks, I'm going to tell you, switch it off. Because she did last time. All the readers says I'm going to go for a big, I'll be back later. All right, lots of love, honey. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, Wendy Beck says she also has a thing about that. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's kind of like... Boom! Hi, honey! Oh, thank you for coming in. Yo! Rabbit Attract says it was a different time in 1968. Bobby Kennedy was assassinated. LBJ was leaving office. And they used brown paper lining to cook with. Hey, so true. That is so true. Oh, Herman the Great. Hi, honey. Oh, my goodness. It is so good to see you. I'm sorry I haven't been around. I'm really tired. I'm really busy. Yep. That was Green Bay Wacky. That is my friend, Punky Rock. We have the same smile. Watch. See? We're related. My granddaughter, well, Waldo's granddaughter, I gave her... Oh, all Rita said she had to make room for some books and she had to give some away and she cried, but her kids laughed. I asked, isn't that mean? Wendy Beck says I was born in 1967, so I don't remember 1968. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you, Herman. So, okay, let's get started. So, we have to soften the gelatin in half a cup of water and then in a sort of pan we combine the sugar, corn syrup, and a third cup of water. We cook till soft boil stage, which was 240 degrees. And hopefully that that thermometer thing will work. Um, and then it says, remove from the heat, stirring in the gelatin until dissolved. And set aside and cool for 10 minutes. And then we have to beat the egg. Oh, that poor egg. Well, it's an egg white. It's an egg white. Oh, Boomer says he was born in 69, so he doesn't remember 67 or 68. Oh, Sherry says I was 8 and 68. I was 7. Oh, 
that gives away my age. I don't think a little bit larger is all, but that because you never know you might end up with something bigger. Oh, well, exactly, with bigger than I thought, yeah. That's true. So, okay, and we beat it with a little until soft peaks, and then we slowly add the syrup, beating on high speed till the candy stands in soft peaks. It sounds like a, a, a sounds like a story, doesn't it? Keep going until you reach the soft peaks. Emma, the kids have been away. Get the baby. Oh yeah, they're doing great. They are home now, and they are doing absolutely wonderful. Mom, baby, and grandma are doing absolutely great. And if you're out there, hi Sherry Kay. And I know my friend Trace is out there watching. And for all everyone else that's out there watching, hello, hello, and, and I got some stuff on, I keep trying to brush it, I'm cleaning you up, so yes, yes, everybody's doing fine, but, but Emma and the kids, if you could do me a favour, please, and say, and, and all of you that, that have just come in, can you please keep my friend TJ Explores Trace? And your prayers, she's really having a very rough time. And she goes for an operation next week. So, and I'm worried. How's the treadmill on the phone? The treadmill on the phone are doing wonderful. We are going great guns, Herman. We are going great guns. I figured out night time is the better time for me to get on the treadmill. Um, I can't say as I've actually lost any weight, you know, standing on the scale. I don't know how I'm going to do this. How am I supposed to lose 10 pounds? I haven't eaten anything today. I've had some nuts. Oh, nuts! Oh, and a few fries. Some crinkle cut fries baked in the oven. And that's it. That's all I have. So I don't know how I'm supposed to lose this weight, so I'm going to put this in. Oh, I'll plug it in over that end and then you won't, your ears won't get blown out. Better. I'm, you know, I'm trying to lose that ten pounds. I'm gonna have to call up the. Um, uh, what are you doing for St. Patrick's Day? To, oh, is that tomorrow? Having a couple of green coloured green light beers. Oh, well, that would be nice. But no, St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. Oh, I have to think on that. Herman um, the Great says, by the way, I'm the youngest in the room. I was born in 1986. You were. Oh, honey. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, so here I have the confection of sugar. Do you think I have enough? Boomer says he lies. He lies. <laughs> you boys. Okay. So, all right, Punky. Thank you for helping me. You can sit over there. Or maybe I should move you a little bit further away so we have some light on the situation. I have my thermometer. Hopefully this works this time. I did try and reduce the temperature in it. Stick that on there. The dark syrup because I'm not sure if there's quite a cup full there. Oh. Should have told my husband when he went to the store. Rabbit abstract says I'm not drinking either. Six weeks sober, July 10th, 1988, 2 uh, 2 13 a.m. Oh, 
Well, congratulations on being sober six weeks. Rabbit extract. I know it's not easy, especially when you have friends that go out drinking and stuff. Or that come over and have, have a couple of beers. I know it's not easy, honey. But congratulations. I'm so proud of you, Leonard Play says. I'm back. Hi, honey. Thank you for coming back. All right. Bowl. Oh. I'm getting lost already. Gelatin. I wonder if it'll hold. Is it a half a cup of water? Soften the gelatin with half a cup of water. Yeah, that will hold half half. Half a cup of water. It's about one or it is. It, 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 it. 
Yeah, you're gonna have to have through. I think Jenny Morrison. Hi, sweetie. Well, well, that's good then, Boomer. That's good. I don't know what happened there, but it didn't open up. Ah, another the kisses, Boomer. I thought you were already 60. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Find your zone, gosh darn it. Find a fake away. Says Rabbit Extract, you are so right, Rabbit. You are so right, honey. Okay, let me pop you down a bit that way. Stay there. I'll move you away a bit more. I keep thinking you've got a streak on your face, but it's not, it's my eyes. There you go, now you can see. Hello. Wendy Beck says I will be 52 in August. Wow. See, we're all, everyone's in the 50s. That is the great age. Cherish it, cherish, cherish, cherish it. Trust me, cherish it. It goes by very fast. Well, any age these days comes by very fast, doesn't it? So it's actually three packets of the Knox gelatin. Yeah, Windy Beck says yes, not old, and I'm just now starting to live exactly, honey. Okay, so that is actually three three packets of Nox unflavored gelatin gelatin. Because it's supposed to be two tablespoons. So we'll see if this works out right. Do I have any left? I've got one left. So we'll see if it works out right. after her cooking <laughs> videos no because I, I can't well sometimes sometimes it depends on if I'm really tired oh the sun just went in why did the sun just go in the gelatin is a little bit lumpy we're already off to a lumpy start guys oh green walking angels back hi sweetie we're already off to a very lumpy start. Oh no, we're working it, we're working it, work it, work it, work it. Lady Bam says I'll be right back. All right, Lady Bam. There's a, there's a, oh there's a, that's a solid bit right there. Come on now. Maybe 
Maybe I should have stirred it as I put it in. It might have been a better idea to slowly put it in the water. Exactly, Jenny. I thought I was just thinking. My thoughts exactly. So when you go to dissolve the thing, the stuff, put the water in slowly and, and, and mix it as you go. Let's put gelatin in it. 
Let's just wipe the gelatin out. I don't think my hubby, my hubby will eat the uh, egg yolk. I don't think he'll end. And you, can you imagine egg yolk and you're mixing egg yolk up and you're going jelly size? <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Okay. And 240 degrees Fahrenheit. Stirring only until the sugar is dissolved. And then remove from the heat. And then you put in the gelatin and, turn, and, and stir that until it's dissolved. And then you set that aside. Yeah. Okay. No, we don't have a cup full here. Okay. I'll let that settle on the bottom and then scrape it. Cut, cut. 
I'll let it soft settle and then I'll cut the thing and then use it for something else. So we're gonna have we're gonna end up having brown brownish marshmallows. Okay? They got big brownish marshmallows they are. Oh I can see it. Got sugar all over the counter. Let me lift you up a bit here. I can bring you over this way a bit more. Because we're going to be doing some beef in a minute. When we've got this to a lighter, um, to a, you know, once it's all dissolved and it reaches 244. Yes, 240. Cinnamon flavour with it. Well, I don't know about cinnamon flavour. I was thinking that somebody did suggest to put some turmeric in because turmeric is really good for you. So oh, the sun came back out, but it's in direction. It's in the wrong place now. It's over that way, which is behind the house. I don't know why they don't put windows in over here, this side of the house make use of all that sun because I guess it gets too hot in the summer so who knows oh thank you ever so much rabbit abstract you are absolutely wonderful you are delightful thank you ever so much rabbit abstract says you gotta go June you on that pink spatula got this you're not scared no I got it Okay, so we're going to have to use the dark one, so we're going to have slightly, slightly off-coloured marshmallows. They can look, we can pretend that they've been roasted, is what we could do. And this one, it's going to be extra sweet too, because this actually has brown sugar in it. So had I known, I would have used a little less sugar, but never mind. Can you see how it's like sinking, it's sinking into this, look at that, it's sinking into the middle of the, um, oh, look, look at that, look at how it's sinking, it's made a ball, isn't that interesting, look, look, see, it's made a ball inside the clear corn syrup, inside the light corn syrup, how interesting, I wish this was made of glass. That's really, sorry, sorry, I find things like that, you know, other things like that interesting. Let me turn you up a bit. I find odd things like that very interesting. Sorry. Okay, we need a cup of syrup. the clear corn syrup that's really absolutely neat I love it Norma oh my gosh I was thinking about you how are you we're making homemade marshmallows from scratch or at least we're going to try to some things I've tried lately just haven't worked out too well so I have to put all this in here I wonder when they do the measurements if they make up for the loss, you know, the, the loss of, because I mean you always lose a little bit when you, you know, 
you do this. I don't have a small spatula that's more cake proof neither. Yeah, we're making um we're making marshmallow from scratch. I found out the cookbook that I'm using is actually from 1968. So some measurements are slightly different from, from you know. So I have to make some notes after this on some of the pages. We've dissolved two tablespoons of unflavored gelatin in half a cup of water. I have one egg white here that I will be beating in the moment. Un momento. So it says we have to um, heat, only stir until the sugar dissolves, and it's got to get to 240 degrees. Um, and then we remove it from the heat and we add the gelatin until it's dissolved. And then we set it aside for 10 minutes to cool. In that time we beat the, um, and it's not this. Okay, so let's not get lost here. Okay, so we're going to dissolve this and bring it up to temperature. I'm going to stir very gently so that the sugar it, it doesn't crystallize up the edges too much. I mean it will do eventually anyway but it'll still work. We're trying. Okay. Remove from the heat and put it over the side. The bowl of mixture, store it at the mixture, beating on high speed. Two doesn't seem to go okay. Oh, 
Also, if you have a cat, Norma sent me a, a cat pillow, a cat, um, not a cat pillow, a cat blanket. And let me tell you something. Tiggy, Tiggy took it first, and then when we lost Tiggy, Tiggy is now taking it over. It's the bee's knees, it is. The cats think it's the best thing since sliced bread. dark syrup so we're having we're making marshmallows that have a slightly um, roasted look to them right now what we're doing is we've melted the sugar and all that kind of stuff you uh, no my sister just made an elephant rug oh for a great niece and this week two scarves for a lady enough for now home oh. oh I can imagine Norma it's a lot of work I know Norma's like no more no more my camera sunk down are you sure my camera sunk down and it's not your thingy Oh, you see my glasses? Yeah. Well, you see, because I tilted it so that you could see in here. I mean, maybe I should bring you a bit further closer, a bit closer. Let's come closer. I wanted you to be able to walk in there. Oh, you can't see in there, can you? There we go. There, you can see there. I wanted you to be able to see in here, but... They kind of like cut off my hair. So. Oh, I'm supposed to be stirring. So stir till the sugar is melted. I think. I think the sugar has melted. Oh, oh, we're bubbling! We're bubbling! Ah, ah, we're starting to bubble, folks! Oh! When are you going to make the, oh, the lollipops? Oh, wait until you see. Dr. Kitts! Hi, sweetie! How are you? Oh, thank you, Norma. Oh! Ah! We've got to watch this bit, because this bit kind of like... Oh, it gets a bit scary. Oh, I better turn this on, hadn't I? Oh, thank you. I'll try. Okay. It's going to come up to 240. I had to turn it down a little bit, otherwise we're going to boil over. I think we're going to be doing this in a bit. It's like raise it up and drop it down, raise it up and drop it down. Okay. It says uh, soft boil stage. Okay, I'll stop stirring it now. Please don't boil over. I think I'm going to boil it a little bit longer than last time. Oh, it smells good. Okay. So, according to this, it's 246 oh, it's a little bit what you are watching but my granddaughter wants to play house oh that's okay you can you can be cooking you can play house cooking um i need i need i need um oh what do i need Oh, 
Okay. We'll find out if it goes to the soft boil stage. Soft ball, as they call it. Because when that's, that happens... I don't think that's soft ball, do you? Because when it drops in the cold water, it doesn't really... Oh my goodness. I've got my fingers over it. Okay. Get a bit more. See, it all breaks apart when it hits the water. Why is that? You're supposed to be able to gauge it when you hit the water. When it hits the water. It's not forming, it's just falling apart. So that can't be the soft boil stage, right? Uh, I need to boil a bit longer. Thank you, Norma. Norma says it takes a while. Yeah, I think that's what happened. You say, look, Norma. I tried to make, I tried to make nuggets. Last week, cherry nugget. It looks nice, doesn't it? Except for watch. I don't think I boiled it long enough. I, it, it didn't. It didn't cook long enough. So yeah, but we want them. So we'll figure out what to do with that during the week. Eat it with a spoon. <laughs> yeah, somebody else said that too, Norma. <laughs> I have to say, it's very good. for 10 minutes and in that 10 minutes you beat the egg white until it comes to soft peaks and then when it's come to soft to stiff peaks not soft peaks stiff it's got to be stiff funny oh that's a bit naughty <laughs> anyway um, and then you slowly add the syrup beating on high speed Till the candy stands up in soft peaks. That sounds so sweet, doesn't it? Uh, you'd say, Dreamwalking Angel, you'd say boil it again. Well, I don't think there's any way of um, 
Lady Ramp says I've got my biggest spoon ready. <laughs> yes. Yep. Eat it with a spoon. Well, I was thinking of um. Yeah. It it it, it is hard. How's Barry doing? Oh, Barry's not stiff. I can tell you that. Yes, the nougat. Apparently, the nougat is one of the hardest ones. My friend Trace TJ Explores was looking it up. And she said there are master chefs that were actually saying that it, it, it's, it, it's actually one of the hardest candies to make. So, not that the candy is hard, but it's difficult to make. Now, see, see how it, This is not. Uh, Well, this happened last time. Drop in the water. Aha! I will. I will make. I will become. One of these days, I will become a candy maker. Extraordinaire. Oh, Carol Connor. Hi, sweetie. The cigar chain smoking. Great, pretty, all American. <laughs> Regan Cajun, Regan Cajun, redneck, gator man from Louisiana checking in. From New Orleans, from New Orleans. It's so good to see you, Carol O'Connor. Thank you for coming in, honey. It's always good to see you. So, what are you going to do for? Um, for, it's St. Patrick's Day tomorrow, so I'm told. I don't have a bit of Irish in me, I have a bit of Scottish and Welsh. And I have some all kinds of other stuff in me too. I'm a hands 57, it will seem. Okay, let's say, let's say, let's say. Oh, how's that? A little bit longer, maybe? Drop off. Drop, 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 drop. Drop, 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 drop. Well, that bit doesn't want to come. Test. It's supposed to go in a soft ball. 
But nothing's going in a ball. It's just dropping or it's swinging around. Oh, help! Um, I know, so I get told, oh, yeah, dear Darren, it's really difficult. You took English to pronounce them Louisiana saying, well, I can try. <laughs> Norling. Maybe um, your cold water isn't cold enough. Add some ice. I don't have ice. We don't have ice in this house. I mean, you know, come on now. Oh, I am so sorry, Darren. I'm so sorry and thank you. Yes, it's not it's not easy, it really isn't easy. And and this is the reason why I, I do the things that I do is to show people that it's possible, you know, to <clears throat> keep going. Um I'm trying to get listed for a transplant. Um I have um you know, I've been to the transplant centre, I went there January. So, yes, I keep myself active, I do what I do. There are some days like today, I just feel so badly, just want to go back to bed and go to sleep. But I'm, no, 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 won't do that. Okay. So I'm running the cold water, I hope nobody wants to go pee. Usually does that to me if I start running the tap. My mum used to do that to us when she was trying to, to check, to try, you know, potty train us. She was going to tap and then go, go pee. <laughs> I 
it looks right just a tiny bit more okay I'll do it just a tiny bit more just a little bit more dear outside here's a joke jumbug <laughs> oh you know I love you to bits in fact talking to loving to bits where's my Shannon oh Shannon where are you and yes YouTube I do want to keep listening Oh my goodness. Yes, that is interesting, Lady Vamp. Thank you. I never really knew. Oh, it was very interesting. Thank you, Lady Vamp. It's always interesting to know where these things come from because sometimes it's pretty amazing where they are. Um, when you find out exactly. I think we're there actually. Oh look at that! Oh look at that! Oh look how it's standing up! Oh look at this! Look at all that! <laughs> it's all squiggly! Can you see that? Can you see it's all squiggly? just having a little bit of fun there okay I think we're at it oh isn't that neat look at that look at that look at that isn't that cool and it's not really dissolved in the water I wonder how long it'll take to dissolve in the water okay so we have to take it off the heat turn that off and then and then we have to put the gelatin in. Um, something happened to my gelatin. Yeah, that is the coolest part, isn't it? Something happened to my gelatin. 
Um, I don't think it was supposed to do this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was gelatin dancing. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, so, um, it's a remove from heat and stirring in the gelatin until it dissolves. So I think we're just going to slap this all in there. Let's just, just slap it all in, shall we? It's Tells them after a checkup, uh, you know, at your age, the smoking, drinking, partying, gambling, and such, he says, when hell freezes over, oh, he's not gonna stop. Ah, ah. Oh, make sure we dissolve it. Well, I hope so. Okay, so I have to dissolve that in there. It's still a bit lumpy. I like that one. And you can see it's still a bit lumpy. Oh, it's bubbling. It's, it's bubbling with that with him. Um... Oh, I thought you were walking around, honey. The cat's having a wander around. I have to watch it. Okay. So the gelatin is dissolving. Yes, it is. We have to mix it in. Get it all mixed in. I think at this point I should add some peppermint. Yes? Everybody? Yes? No? Or should I add the peppermint when we put it in the, in the eggs? Okay, so I think that is all dissolved and mixed in together. It sure looks like it. Oh, no. oh, you don't have to retract your message, Carol O'Connor. Don't retract your message, honey. You don't have to. I like a joke. A joke is good. Okay. Alright, that is all stirred and done. Now we're going to beat the egg. Let's Let's beat the egg, shall we? Girl skills, you use! Carol Connor says, just last week my wife made me join a bridge club. I jump off next week. <laughs> Carol O'Connor, that's funny. <laughs> okay. We are going to beat the egg. Let's beat the egg. It is so good to see you, Gil Skills. How are you? We're trying to make we're trying to make homemade marshmallows from scratch. All this scratching is making me itch. No. <laughs> okay, we're gonna beat the eggs until it stands to. What does it say? Uh, in a bowl, to stiff. Wait, it's got to be stiff, dear. It needs to be stiff. If it's not stiff, then we're in trouble. So it goes. Well, he is actually stiff. 
sticks actually. I can scrape it all down because it, it's gone all over the bowl. Look, it was sort of one tiny egg white and it's gone everywhere. It's very stiff, I would say. I think that's stiff. Cue up Michael Jackson, yeah, beat it, beat it. Beat it. I think that's stiff in it. I mean, that was exactly five minutes. Okay, well, we have to set that aside for 10 minutes, so here we go again. Switch hands, okay, I'll switch hands. It did say 10 minutes, it does say 10 minutes. Set aside for 10 minutes. We have to beat the egg. Um, it is stiff, the best you can remember. <laughs> Um, I, I need, I, I need, <laughs> I need a little scraper thingy. Where's all the little scraper thingies? I've got a big scraper thingy. I've got, a, I've got this one. It's, it's kind of like melted. What did my husband do? It's melted. That's okay. Can somebody just hold the bowl for me, please, while I push the, the egg white down into the bowl? Thank you. Uh, no, hold it steady. Don't let it wander all over the place. It's wandering. Uh, scoop it all down. Come on. I do actually prefer the, um, the old fashioned bowls that grandma used to use. I did have some, but yeah, they walked off too. They kind of walked out the door and never came back. Okay, I'm going to put you there. All right, we're going to beat it. I have a glass bowl with hope run away as much, yeah. Well, you know what, normally the best thing to do is to put um, a damp cloth underneath it and then it don't run away. That's something I learned from my grandmother. She always used to, even the heavy bowls, she used to put the, the crop, she used to put the, the thing down and then, yeah, a damp cloth down and then it don't run away.
time I'll try and make sure I have it with me. I think I have something that will work like that. I mean, I could actually, well, no, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't last it. I was thinking of actually that maybe we could um, glue rubber to the bottoms, but I don't think that'd be a good idea because it needs to be washable. It's been more than 10 minutes, it's been 14. Oh! Okay, so we're going to have a, a dash of, of peppermint. Just a little, that's a lot. Should I put it in now? Should I put the peppermint in now? In the in the pan? And then it says slowly add the syrup, beating um, high until the candy stands in soft peaks. And then we put it out on the on the on the it says brown paper, but I'm using parchment paper. This is from 1968, is this book. So I'm gonna add a little bit of peppermint. a little bit but that's okay uh oh we, we've got a skin going on top let me mix it in let me melt it in first oh this is going to be interesting folks let me melt this Come on, mix in.
Oh god, sticky stuff all over the place. You ready? You can't quite see, can you? There we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Here we go. You ready? Okay. It says slowly, slowly add the syrup beating on high speed. Oh, we're getting there, we're getting there! 
Yeah, Sherry, I do, but I, I, I can't, yeah, well, that's a, that's a dream. Uh, maybe one day. Okay, let me scrape this down. Oh! Let me scrape all this down. Keep winding all the way up. <laughs> oh. 
Well, we're just going to have to do it at that and see what happens, I think. Oh. Show some 
I have a problem. Okay. So I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna stand that over that camera. Okay, you ready? Unplug the beaker. Well, they'll be fine just there. But I'm gonna unplug it anyway. Because it's not playing nice, so I'm not gonna play with it. Alright. And then we. And then we have to. Everywhere. Okay, so we have to put it on the thing. We have to put it on the thing. Oh, that's okay, Becky. How about just using Becky? What's your name? How about just using Becky? You are you. You are who you are. You are Becky. Okay, Lady Bell. All right, this is coming out. It's coming out in the blob, folks. It's the blob! You ready? I 
need one of those long knives. So those master chef people have. I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't. Ha I don't have one of those huge egg knives. Oh, come on now. Tomorrow we'll come back. Actually, no. Let's make it for three. No, let's make it for two o'clock tomorrow. At two o'clock tomorrow we'll come back. Two. That's that's uh, two o'clock USA Central Time. We'll come back and we'll see if we can cut it up. Eat it off the batters later. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so we have to leave it like this overnight, and then we put. We put um, confectioner's sugar, or no, we know in the, in, the, in England. Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, that's good, Giselle. So tomorrow we're gonna put we're gonna sprinkle confectioner's sugar over the top, and then we put a bit more parchment paper on, and then we turn it over. And then we somehow have to get this parchment paper off. It does recommend dampening the, the paper to get it off. So. <laughs> We're going to have some fun tomorrow. I can just see. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm so you can cut it in squares. Well, well, you know. The, 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 the nugget didn't think I did it. It's still squidgy. I think we should have cooked the nugget a bit longer. I do. So, anyone want to lick a pan? Well, it doesn't say to pour confectioner's sugar on that. It says you pour confectioner's sugar on the top. Tomorrow, and then you pour parchment paper over the top of it, and then you flip it. And she said it's going to turn out great with the powdered sugar because remember the marshmallow. It, oh, yeah, it is, it is, isn't it? Mmm, the beggar says, Me, me. I want to lick the bowl. I've got the bowl and the beaters, and yeah, no, that, that's okay. You can, uh, hey, any ideas? Any ideas? Maybe. We'll find out tomorrow, because it says, but you see it was brown paper they were using back then in 1968. So we're kind of improvising for now. Lots of years later, it's really it's good. And it tastes, the peppermint flavour tastes really nice. Mm. I always want to put some turmeric in it. 
if it turns out right, we can do it again. We can put some turmeric in it. I'm sure that'll be nice. It's really sticky. It's very sticky. So I'm um It's getting chewy now. I just scrape it with a butter knife. Oh, good idea. <laughs> Giselle says, enjoying that, are you? Yes, I am, Giselle. <laughs> you know, I'd let you scrape the bowl if you were here. Maybe not. Oh, thank you, Artfully. Thank you ever so much. I, it's something fun to do. It's not expensive. And, um, you know, it's an experiment. It's an experiment in the kitchen. Because it, it, I think that's what a lot of cooking is, is, is a lot of experimentation. You know, to see what works and what doesn't work for you. Um, so. <laughs> yes, YouTube, I do want to continue. Thank you very much. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to say good afternoon. Tomorrow, we shall come back tomorrow at 2 o'clock and we shall see what happens with this. Plus, I will have a surprise tomorrow at some point. A friend of mine sent me a CD of his songs. So, I would like to um, It's not scraping out the easily. My kids fight over the beaters. You have four, I have four children, two beaters. Oh, you had to give them all spoons, yes. Oh, thank you ever so much. Thank you ever so much. Well, thank you, my mouth for watering, sorry. <laughs> no, it wasn't easy, that is so true. Um, but we will do it again. So I shall see you all tomorrow afternoon at two. I shall set it all up so that, um, well, that's, that's it, see, yes, Grandma, that, that's the whole point of, of, of what I'm trying to do is to encourage people to, um, Stephanie, hi, honey, thank you for stopping in. I'm trying to encourage people, you know, to, to do things. I mean, I, I used to, I used to, um, do all the beating and mixing by hand when I was younger. I could beat eggs, egg whites, until they were stiff, you know, and peaky and all that kind of stuff. I can't do that now. But with the help of the electrical stuff, which I think I've just blown. <coughs> so for a few weeks, I think we'll be just doing, um, you know, fudge and things where you don't have to use a beater. Um, but, you know, it, it's, it's something fun to do. It's not expensive neither. It's just some sugar an egg white and some corn syrup you know it's not that expensive unless you blow your beetle like me <laughs> she says enjoy your sugar rush she's like, thank you she says i will so i'm going to say i'm sorry for those that have just come in but i was closing because we have um have done this i mean it's i'm just saying I'm a, I'll show you. This is the forest lot. This is the marshmallow. We have to let it sit overnight. And then we'll do what we need to do with it tomorrow. So, I will be back here at 2 o'clock tomorrow. And um, thank you all ever so much for joining me on this, this fun adventure. And my, my, my little... Hello, Punky Rock, my assistant. 
they're very well at, at reading the uh, instructions. Go check out Green Bay Wacky and ask him about the Boulder Buddies because Funky Rock is actually from the Boulder Buddies that Green Bay Wacky made. So we're going to have a cup of coffee, aren't we? Yeah. And we're going to lick out these bowls and the, the beaker and, and the spatula and the pan and, and we're just going to enjoy. So thank you ever so much everyone for coming in. stop the music for now so be kind caring thoughtful considerate and compassionate to those around you and when you look somebody in the eye make sure you can say I see you because one of these days that person's gonna be you and I promise you you're not gonna like it so and remember booyah one step at a time one breath at a time we I can do this. I love you all. Thank you ever so much for coming in. It was so good seeing you. I'm going to say good evening, good night, good morning, and good afternoon, wherever you are in this amazing universe. Try something new. It might surprise yourself. I love you all. Thank you, and I'll see you tomorrow at 2 Central USA. Oh, <laughs> it's